Oh my gosh! <gasps> I actually have uh, upper respiratory thing going on, ear infection, double ear infection, and a sinus infection going on right now. Not contagious anymore. But um, we're still gonna go out, and we're we're not leaving until we get one tomorrow. <laughs> We are not leaving until we get one. Did a little more research and everything and found out like supposedly what everybody says is like the hump of the nose to the eyes. Like say, if you can estimate it being eight inches, that should be an eight foot gator. Everybody's got all day off tomorrow. So we're gonna do our best to get down there, get on a gator, we're gonna get out early. Gotta get us some morning coffee. Definitely wearing shorts in the morning because last week when we went, by like 11 o'clock, I was sweating so bad, wearing them pants and boots. So I might be barefoot tomorrow, honestly. But here we go. <laughs> Straight down this time, right? And they're gonna work their way back. Yep. They got the best one. Whatever will be quickest <laughs> to leave. First, we're gonna look at this gate over here just to make sure. How big do you think it was? Uh, maybe an 8 foot. We're looking for the 10, 12 foot. Now that we know. Looks okay. like, yeah, I saw it. GoPro on? The GoPro is on. Yep. All right, so Coming up. 
Where's he going? little bit closer to where we've been gator hunting only thing is there's an airboat ramp from the lake to the river that you like take an airboat across and if the water's not high enough i probably can't get my mud motor or my mud boat i can get it across i would imagine but i don't think i can get it back up so um like i said we are the last video we went out me and tilly went out there and i didn't want to try it because i was by myself but the water's raised a little bit, so I'm gonna go out there now. We're going out at about 4.30 this evening, start gator hunting. So I'm gonna go down there now, check it out, because if it's, if it's where we can get across, that'll be so much nicer than uh, launching up here and then boating 35 minutes downriver, because uh, that just takes forever um, and use a lot of fuel. Um, but, uh, I gotta show you guys this new gra uh, snag hook I got. So instead of using the harpoon, I mean, we're still gonna use that if we have the opportunity. Let's we'll toss this giant grapple hook out there with, you know, just a hand rope and it'll be, you know, right there by the boat and pull it real hard, snag him. And then once we get him calmed down a little, get another harpoon in him, if we even need to. At that point, we might not even need to and just get the bang stick. But uh, I really thought the harpoon was gonna be the way to go but if you can't get them close enough to the boat to figure out where to stick them, it's gonna be a lot easier just tossing this thing out there. And this freaking, this hook's huge. Let me see, hold on. I can reach it. Oh yeah. This thing is giant. It's like the size of my head. But uh, that'll come in handy, I think. So anyway, it's about to launch out here and uh, not really gonna look for gators or anything because I only got about an hour before everybody else gets off to meet and head on out. Just trying to see if this uh, boat ramp's gonna work. Also, if you can't tell, I got the sinus infection going on. <clears throat> I think I said that yesterday, but that's why my voice sounds like this. So. All right, this is the uh, spot I'm telling y'all about. I'm trying to see if I can get across. The dam's straight ahead and the little airboat ramps right to the left. It looks like there's water going across from right here. So I mean, if that's the case, we might be Gucci. I just don't know about getting back over here. There's a gator right in front of the freaking thing going across there. I don't know if y'all can see that. See right there by that first buoy. Little four or five foot gator. Yeah, I don't know. Doesn't look that big on camera, but I could probably get across it by myself, like hauling butt. But coming back across, and then I don't know if I damage anything on the bottom of the boat.
So at this point in the video, we're getting frustrated. We keep snagging these gators, they keep coming off. We don't even have a chance to like really get a second hook on them. Uh, when we hook one, it'll either come off in five, 10 seconds or it'll run and we can't get the, you know, the boat up close enough or it just goes in the bushes. So like I said, at this point we're frustrated. Uh, it's already getting pretty late, getting darker. Uh, we were wanting to get one during the day to get a good film for it. Uh, we're trying, you know, no bait, snag them get them you know get them in the boat so um we decided we we're like all right it's almost dark let's just sit out here i got uh headlamps lights all over the boats we'll just see what happens well as you can see we find out real fast that uh it's a lot easier to get up on them at night because they're like a deer in headlights and they don't really go under as much there's like bugs everywhere as you can see in the video and um i just start like shining the light everywhere we see eyes and finally we get a gator that's like out in the middle of the river Do I need to get back over there? Just stay right where you at. That's him right there. Where? Right in front of you. I see his, oh, I his eyes. Oh, right there. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah, what right You got it, you got it, you got it. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head. They'll 
tell you what to do in my instead Of everything you know that you can get Don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test If only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, on the right. figure out what you like you Find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a crime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life A few friends with intent can help you feel alive Find a passion, take some action, and with a little time Just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life I'll try to kick you while you're down They wanna rise up while you drown They wanna oh, clear your own doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally look like you're right there, right there Then it's your chance to be ruthless Oh, yeah, wait Oh! Oh! Oh my god. Oh no. He's on him. They don't want to see me make it. They don't want to see me care. Anytime I make some progress, I can see that they compare. I think everyone's against me. Maybe something in the air. Am I paranoid? I swear a void is forming and there's good. I walk a straight path. Not many can say that. I'd like to play fast, cross me and just pay back You better pray that I don't see your face at Any place that I go, I know you hate that I've been doing fine I'm not oh, wasting careful. any more time I live for the fight and the climb And I think that the place right deep inside Is what defines Switch places So I won't one. give up, I'm gonna make it to the top I don't care what's in my way, I swear I'm never gonna stop I could fall flat on my face and I swear I won't get back up Cause oh, I don't deserve under. a thing and the road ahead is tough They'll try to kick you while you're down They wanna rise up while you drown They wanna fill your every doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless Bang sick right there. Elijah, can you hold this right here? Try to kick you while you down. 
They want to rise up while you This is your chance. All right, he needs to go under a little. Oh my god. You got it, you got it. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh man. Do we need to get on the other side so you guys can get him in or what? Uh, let me get the tape. <laughs> Scared? No. How do you guys feel? I feel Some like y'all think it's small. He ain't the biggest. No. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> like eight feet? No, uh, shorter. Five? <laughs> Probably like six. <laughs> six. Six or seven. What? Is what? This is our uh, third time out. How many? We have three gators today? Four gators. Four. Oh, four, four. Four. Fourth gators today. It looks a lot bigger. It's kind of harder to tell at night how big they are, I think. Um, honestly, we, we hooked some bigger ones, oh, yeah. <laughs> but we are happy with it, but our next gator is going to be bigger. Uh, I don't even know what we did. Hooked it with a, hooked it with a rod, hooked it with a rod, and hooked it with that snag hook I bought today that I showed uh, on video earlier. That was uh, the key. But, probably took 15, 15, what? 20 minutes. You think? What do you like? I think it was like 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. Forever. <laughs> yeah, when he like came up to the side, he honestly kind of, I thought he was going to grab my foot for a second. But uh, somebody was telling me earlier today, like, if you see him rolling, that actually help us out because he's wrapping himself with the line. So it kind of helped us out. I, uh, I don't know for sure where we hooked him. I know the, the hand snag was like up under his belly somewhere. Ended up being eight foot. The what's that thing called? The harpoon is eight foot long, and we so we measured it with that. It's pretty sick. <laughs> now we have to take it to the processor, and we got the tag in, but we have to fill out a report when we get there. She told me a harvest report and. Process report, whatever. How we want to process. Eight foot two equipment that's where i got all my stuff and then they process and everything like that super nice people um but yeah the uh hunt was crazy um honestly after we killed it or got it up to the boat like we didn't think it was as long as it was i mean it ended up being eight foot two inches like i thought it was gonna be like six foot but um obviously as you can tell it's easier to get up on them at night but it's harder to tell how big they are at night too so we have one more tag left um, for this season so we're going to try to get on one during the daytime and just like do what we can to get on it um, that way we can i mean after seeing how big this one was after we get out of the water and it being eight foot we know like a couple of those gators we hooked earlier in the video or even last video um, had to have been 10 to 12 foot and a lot fatter. This one was pretty skinny, but uh, still super fun. Deer season starting up in Arkansas this weekend. So good luck to all the deer hunters out there and anybody early teal hunting. And then hopefully we'll get a, get on a Florida deer here soon. And then I'm heading to Arkansas and then Kansas. We got to draw a tag in Kansas and South Dakota this year. So we'll be on the road a lot. I make it look like